analytics and research, online or offline. This cafe is also a platform where thought leaders share their ideas with faculty and students. So in this episode, we are having Ms. Kirti Bidhyadiga, who is the principal of Silicon City College, Bangalore, who will be delivering an informative session on moral values. So I welcome Ms. Kirti Bidhyadiga to today's session. Hi, Kirti, ma'am. Namaste. Yeah. Ma'am, could you please introduce yourself to our, our audience? I am uh, Kirti Badiadka. I am the principal in Silicon City College, Bangalore. From past 10 years, I'm the principal in this college. Yes, in the education field, uh, I have been there from past 21 years. I started my career in 2001. My, basically, my subject is mathematics. So I completed my master's in mathematics. And uh, yes, a daily basis, some uh, counseling sessions and uh, uh, telling the uh, value added uh, education to the students or the parents and handling the staff members is uh, really lovingly. I am just doing that uh, work. And okay. uh, yes. Uh, so ma'am, uh, as your topic says more on values. So what are the main values? Yeah, according to me, um, yes, the list is really very big one. Few, few of that I just wanted to quote here. Uh, maybe trustworthiness and respect. We have to respect the elders and all. And good manners. Yes, definitely politeness. And I think even the um, uh, fairness, etc., can be considered as the moral values. Okay, so what role does this uh, trustworthiness uh, take, as you said before? Um, yeah, first of all, I just wanted to say one sentence about the moral also. Like morals are uh, nothing but the principle based on what a person believes as right or maybe proper. Um, yes, values also can be considered as the moral principles which are important in our life. Trustworthiness, under trustworthiness, I think uh, uh, now we can take this example, like we have to work with uh, very little supervision. Sorry, I think you are facing some network issue. Not audible? Is it audible? Not audible? Hello? Hello? Is it audible? Sorry, ma'am. Actually, I face, yeah, I face some network issue. Sorry, ma'am. So sorry for that. So, uh, okay, ma'am. Let's move okay. on to the session. Yeah. So okay, we were talking about trustworthiness. Trustworthiness. Yes, yeah, I'll just continue with the trustworthiness yes. topic. Uh, yeah, we have to work with very little supervision. That is what I, I feel always. Our behavior should be exactly the same way when someone is supervising us or not supervising. Always some people, some teachers also maybe or the work employees, you know, when the boss comes and uh, observes, our attitude of work will be more uh, better or the depthness in the work will be more at all. That is wrong according to me. So we have to behave exactly the same way when someone is watching us or 
without watching and same way we just generally talk about the friends no that uh, true friendship is nothing but speaking same opinion about a friend in front of them or even behind same opinion we have to share that is what i feel that is that is where we can just trust the people if we just behave like that and uh, we have to be very honest in the work i think we can just take the uh, example of work from home nowadays that is uh, going on but do you know most of uh, the people what they do is they just don't uh, follow the ethics they just say work from home they just log in and what they do is they just go to the movie they just go for shopping they just attend the function that is also we have we are facing now so we should not do that uh, be ethical even in work from home do justice to the work what you do even from the uh, home and uh, i think there also that is also the trustworthiness the boss can trust the employee only if we follow all these things and we have to respect the time if we have agreed to reach at 10 o'clock means at least let us try to reach by 10 if the session starts at 4 means the people should log in at 4 we have to, because it is already announced means we have to uh, respect the time simply no one will uh, announce the time to log in at 4 o'clock so we have to respect the time and uh, try to be on on time for anything and if we have promised anything to help or something let us not forget it if we have agreed to help let us help so be trustworthy so that others also may ask the help uh, second time also otherwise what happens is that trustworthiness will just go off uh, and i think under trustworthiness even uh, uh, cheating we should not cheat anybody um or um, steal anything small small things even because the, i think the students are also there as, as a audience so maybe i can just use the word stealing also some some small stationery also maybe pen or a pencil we should not do that one because we will be losing that trustworthiness if we just do that uh, um for others we should not that uh, do that one and even this uh, mobile phones yes uh post pandemic we know the importance of mobile phone because even the school colleges were uh, made it compulsory that each student let them buy the mobile phone and use it to attend the online classes so most of the parents have bought the mobile phone though they are for they faced any difficulties and all but still they have bought some mobile phones and given to the students or their uh, children but what they do they misused also so let us not misuse the mobile phone use the mobile phone wisely never misuse it uh, the parents have given you the phone with some trust remember that show the trustworthiness my dear students yes definitely the elders also we have to show the trustworthiness let us not cheat or manipulate the things so this will harm one's personality i think because repeatedly if you just do all these things no it will affect our personality so it will harm the personality so if you believe that someone is lying and we will stop believing them that means he is not at all trustworthy okay. yeah so as you said uh, respect is also important so what we teach uh, can you given to respect can you please explain to us yeah respect is also one of the moral values what i would like to say that one we have to value and honor the people respect the dignity means the position um yes or uh, privacy we have to respect the privacy and freedom of individual so yeah every individual will expect the respect but it is maybe maybe that um, as i said each individual will expect the respect maybe that is our own made 
maid servant or maybe the garbage collecting boy but imagine if we don't respect those people and talk them politely and all imagine the day when they don't come when they don't collect the garbage at all or they do the maid servant if they don't come to our house we know the difficulties so the, the daily life how difficult it is if we don't respect them so each person will have their own respect so let us respect the each individual um uh, what let us say someone is inside a room maybe the door is also locked or closed so what uh, is the uh, that is his privacy his or her privacy it is so let us respect the privacy too so what we have to do the simple thing just we have to knock the door and enter so this is where we can respect the other person's um uh, privacy and the people also we have to respect and the privacy also we have to respect and uh, what uh, one many times what i have seen is uh, if the people are uh, doing some work with the laptop we have a very bad habit what just peeping peeping what they do or if the people are still, uh, holding some mobile phone in the hand and all no our eyes will go and check what he or she is doing there and all so that peeping into others laptop screen or the mobile phone who are sitting next to you is really very bad habit that is not the respect what we have to give so we need to respect the post or the chair or the people and the privacy and the freedom that using the his own laptop and mobile is his freedom let us not disturb them let us respect the freedom to okay ma so can i give some good examples of this good manner and politeness yeah many people they know what is good manner what is politeness but let me highlight with some example where uh, really we are just lacking we are just lacking in uh, those uh, things um behave politely everywhere it is not that only in this area we have to be polite and not in that area and all let us behave politely every and each time everywhere maintain good manners all the time let us say maybe we are driving and in between some age person we saw they are uh, crossing the road he or she the age old uh, person is crossing the road at all but i have seen many people what they do is they just honk imagine the condition they are old and when they honk it it may be shocking to them and they may feel a friedness so that with this close distance you know, the honking is really very bad manner it is not at all a good manner without care uh caring the public properties that is also very bad manner and yes definitely smoking in public place it is really really very bad manner there is there will be some places where really the, it is allowed so still if you want to smoke yes definitely smoking is injurious to health the people you we all we know that one but still there is a place so smoking in the public places speaking loudly over the phone in a public place many of us do that one we just completely forget about the uh, surroundings and we just speak loudly which is according to me really uh, not a good manner and what we can say is uh, interrupting interrupting when the group of people are uh, sitting and discussing uh, on some topic and all that time if they just um, we just go in between and interrupt them that is also not a good uh, a manner uh, without their permission we should not enter anyway because even if we are there in that uh, group okay fine we can just talk in between but otherwise when you just enter the group and interrupt them that is not a good manner um and there are many powerful words like thank you excuse me please or some such words we can just use it and then enter that is that is better always no 
and uh, yes many people uh, when they travel in the public transport and all you must have seen they are just spoiling the um, things and all there as though it is only 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 their property but we generally forget that it is public property it is not only us so we have to respect uh, all those things or the keep uh, uh, in a good uh, position the, uh, if we just follow the good manners then only we will uh, get that back all this those public um, items or public uh, transport or the public uh, things and all and one more thing when we just travel in the public uh, transport you, know, you must have uh, observed my dear friends because uh, some age person will be standing and uh, we little hesitate to stand up and give the seat if they don't get that uh, seat and all and even the kids mothers or fathers will come with some uh, kids and the uh, uh, hand they will be taking them and standing and but again uh, we will be a little hesitant to stand up and give the seats to them but my dear friends it is my humble request let us do all those things which is very small small things we are still young god we are not in such difficulties when compared to those old people or uh, uh, senior citizens or the mothers with the small uh, baby in their uh, um, hand or lap so we can just uh, stand up and uh, leave our seats to them which shows the uh, good manners inside uh, us or uh, what we can say is uh, courtesy that is our courtesy also we can just use that word also that is what uh, i feel and also i think we should be a good listener to that also one of the good manner because when the people talk or say uh, we hardly listen sometimes we don't listen to them so being a good listener adds lot to your uh, your personality that is what i feel and um, cutting someone in between the uh, talk in between the uh, uh, talking with the maybe the, that person is talking to somebody and uh, uh we just interrupt in between and simply cut the sentence itself that is not a uh, good manner in the middle of a sentence many people they do this it is not a good habit or good uh, manner let her or him continue the sentence be a good listener my dear friend um let them complete the sentence sometimes what happens is maybe you take this moral values itself well, we know of all these values and all uh, why to listen to them that feeling will come but many times what happens is a small thing or the small uh, topic or the small sentence will be there even if we know everything that will be helping us in our future maybe uh, career or when we just handle the things and all so be a good listener even if you know about the topic always it is a good manner if you just listen to that one and listening um, maybe cooperating or uh, communicating openly uh, yes all these things are uh, according to me the good good manners which we have to follow yes responsibility this is this it comes under this uh, moral values responsibility yes definitely we can consider responsibility also as uh, one of the uh, moral values um what we can just say is like okay let me consider one uh, situation in the classroom itself maybe the teacher must have um, given uh, one uh, topic to be covered or seminar kind and all or maybe one project is given to a group of students generally what happens is that a group of uh, students you know each one will think that okay let her do start the thing or let him start the thing uh, why me others let them start then i will join hands uh, like that uh, the uh, idea idea will be like that only in especially now the in this generation but what i feel is uh, we should each one should uh, initiate the thing in each let us initiate that 
we will not wait for the others to start the thing. Why to wait for others? Um, again, now it is a very competitive world. So each one has to show his interest or uh, what we can just say that his contribution uh, to the project or uh, whatever the work is allotted to you. So that is uh, where uh, we can just consider it as the, it is our responsibility to start that project. Let us not wait for others to initiate. So that the initiate, initiating the work is also can be considered as a responsibility. So let us say, um, if I start, maybe I, I may become a leader of that, uh, um, so what is that project or something. So let us think positively and let us start the work. So we have to initiate the work always. Let us not wait for the other. So the initiating this work is, you know, can be considered as a, our uh, responsibility to uh, grow ourselves, what uh, I can say. And yes, definitely we have to pay attention to the work, paying attention to the details. Uh, maybe we'll avoid uh, making some silly mistakes because when I just took the example of project, no, yes, um, all the members of the project have to join their hands to do the work. So each one, if they just um, go or uh, give more attention to the details of the project or the topic of the project, uh, it will um, avoid making some silly mistakes. So we have to be loyal also, like uh, they have to share each one and also being loyal is also, it is uh, uh, being loyal is also our responsibility in fact. So, and uh, sometimes what happens is um, the student will uh, not do the work, somebody else will do the work and uh, to the teacher, they'll say, no, 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 everything I have done, ma'am or sir, it is not by her or something. This is uh, something called the backstabbing which uh, we should not do. That is not our responsibility. So uh, never backstab, my dear friends. Uh, don't forget that the um, people in and around, we need the help. Maybe not today. Tomorrow we may need uh, their help. So backstabbing is not at all our responsibility or a uh, good manner. So we should not do that one. Uh, take uh, the initiative to the... Uh, to do the work and uh, uh, give more attention to the work and don't uh, backstab so so that uh, we can just help others and we should not forget the people who have helped that is also our responsibility not forgetting the people who have helped us earlier Many people must have helped us to uh, join the, the college or uh, uh, get into the um, uh, job or uh, helped uh, the friends must have helped to score more marks or um, the general people like uh, constructing the ha houses or uh, um, getting the bus tickets. Maybe small, small things also, but many people must have uh, helped us. So it is our responsibility to not to forget them. We have to remember all the people who have helped us. We must value them as they helped us in building our uh, life. So let us be loyal uh, to our well-wishers or the uh, supporters also because being loyal is also our uh, responsibility. So we should um, have some accountability also no? because the people have helped us means we should not forget. So that is our accountability. Whenever they need some help and all, we can just do that one. If only not them, maybe their friends or their relatives, we can just um, help them. So we must be answerable to the things we are uh, responsible uh, for. So the responsibility taking as a, like me as a principal, I'm the principal. So just uh, going back uh, or uh, not responding to the students' um, problems or the staff problems or the management problems, or maybe the public to an extent, uh, public uh, uh, problems that is 
not showing the responsibility. This is the principal's responsibility that managing all these things. So we have to show the responsibility. We should not go back or uh, not showing the responsibility is uh, bad. So moral value is what responsibility also can be considered as one of the res uh, moral values. Okay, so uh, what do you mean by this fairness and what all things comes under fairness? Um, yes, uh, fairness. I would uh, like to say that again, I, I may be repeating it. This fairness is yes, listening. Listening carefully or uh, silently or uh, uh, patiently. Patiently, if we just... Uh, um listen to the things uh, what the other people say is a uh, kind of showing a fairness towards the uh, people or uh, what we can say is uh, they may sound like uh, uh, speaking about the topic you know the uh, just two minutes before also i just told you that maybe that topic we know but still if you just listen to the speaker, that is what showing the fairness towards the speaker. So uh, maybe their one point or the small point, it may end with uh, some different dimension, which may be useful to us in future. If you just don't listen, to the people who are giving some lecture or uh, some uh, discussions and all, no, that is not showing the fairness towards the uh, speaker. So let us show the fairness towards the uh, talker or the um, teacher or maybe your neighbors and all. And uh, we should not be biased, I think, and stay without our favoritism. That also showing the fa fairness towards the people. Um, what we can say is, uh, see, for example, um, uh, some topic is uh, uh, some decisions. Uh, we can take the example of a teacher itself. If uh, that one favorite uh, student has uh, done some small mistake in the answer paper or something, no? favoritism comes there. And we simply give a little mark, more mark, mark to the students, which is not showing the fairness. That comes uh, the favoritism there. So we should not show some uh, favoritism there. Uh, we have to uh, see the things uh, in a hol holistic way, actually. Look at the things from holistic view. Um, take decisions from a um, neutral, neutral position. We should not bend towards that, uh, that side or the side. We have to be in the neutral position. Um, when you share... Uh, your opinion on anything what we have to do is uh, we have to think as a person in neutral we should not show any favoritism to the other side or the side and all and from both the sides we have to think also before giving the decision uh, we, uh, if that is the thing what will happen if the these other part other side if the point is given us uh, uh, against the other other party or, or something no at that time we have to be neutral and uh, show the fairness towards both the team and give the judgment so uh, if you are a decision maker yes definitely um, um, give credit to both the side maybe the two teams are there means we have to show the um, uh, equal uh, weightage to both that uh, talk or both the even again for example debate when the debate happens you no know, the competition debate happens we have to be we have to show the fairness we cannot be sure the favoritism um, uh, towards the topic maybe we are with the um, th uh, th we think that okay the that girl what she said is the right in general but that doesn't matter debate is just the discussion you no know, what they how they talk and all so we should not show any favoritism there and uh, we have to show the judgment uh, in being a neutral judge. So uh, do, we have to give due credit to the desired one only. Uh, we have to identify the achievers 
all this what uh, comes under fairness actually we have to show the fairness towards the achievers we have to identify them and uh, show some courtesy towards the people in uh, need that is also showing fairness maybe there are uh, people uh, in trouble maybe knowing knowing people or unknowing people but uh, that unknowing people through some known people we can just uh, give some uh, show some courtesy or uh, give some um, help uh, to them we can just help them and support them so showing the courtesy is also showing the fairness and we should not be but like i uh, said i want to repeat that one like uh, when you, when you need to uh, make some decisions or uh, uh, take and uh, go with the open mind we should not be narrow minded people at that time. we have to be very open minded and if you approach with a preoccupied um, mindset You, we, you will be wrong sometimes so we should be cool and open minded whenever we go for a judgment and all so that that is that is where we can just show the uh, fairness otherwise we will be a little uh, uh, what is that favoritism uh, showing that uh, will come uh, highlight that will be highlighted so we have to be judgment we we should not be judgmental and let us uh, uh, showing the uh, i mean sharing the knowledge if it is share the knowledge that is also one of the showing our uh, uh, like a fairness well, let us share the knowledge and ideas to others knowledge sharing is also very important because i am from education uh, department like uh, yes we have to share our knowledge because as a teacher as a faculty we just uh, um, share our uh, knowledge to the students and our uh, colleagues with the friends and all no? so let us share the knowledge that is a uh, very important keeping everything um, within ourselves is uh, not a good thing so sh- um, if we just share the knowledge what we know that will help others so here also this is also showing some fairness towards the uh, friends or the colleagues or the students uh, that is what i uh, feel uh, okay ma'am so uh, can we consider this caring also as an important part of this moral values uh caring yeah yes uh, caring is a word uh, who will not love because each one well, it, it does not uh, um, what we consider whatever is the age if the people care us we will be uh, very happy actually so yes caring is also one of the moral values we can just consider um uh, showing uh, kindness or uh, sensitivity uh, to the uh, feelings of others that is what the caring is maybe uh, you know a small definition or the in general what we can say is uh, showing kindness and uh, um, responding to the feelings of others is nothing but the caring so when we just care uh, the people who are uh, around us definitely people will like us so let us show the care no problem we, there is nothing uh, we will lose there if we just care the people so what we can say is especially when uh, um, you are speaking in public or outside where there are many people we have to be very careful we have to use some caring words only because there um, uh, comes the sensitivity matter because full public is there if we just say some non caring words no it may hurt at least one in the crowd so we have to be very careful when we just speak um, in public so only the caring words only we have to use um, hurting words we should not use don't hurt others with your words because that the, if you just don't use the hurting words no that shows your carelessness 
so you are caring the public or caring the people we can just take uh, caring in that uh, manner what i feel um, most of us show the kindness and uh, care um, only to the family members and friends not to the others let them think whatever they want that 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 uh, feeling many people have let us avoid that one as i said no there is uh, we are not going to lose anything if you just use some uh, caring words or if you just care few people other than our family members or the uh, friends so let us uh, do that one and uh, let us uh, express gratitude some uh, show some con concern personal concern to others especially after uh, uh, this uh, covid or pandemic uh, situation we know how uh, difficulties we have faced in our last uh, two years uh, many students lost their parents many uh, teachers they lost their kids maybe or that they lost the jobs and all at that time no the people around you if you just show some care definitely that small smile you can see from uh, their uh, face even the students just uh, some words uh, some good words caring words that will motivate that uh, student we know the uh, mental condition of the student now we 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 as a teachers and uh, yes as a principal and uh, in the college maybe the admin administration staff also are facing the behavior and the um, attitude of the students how uh, um, change what is the change after uh, this pandemic situation and the uh, after covid and all so at that time what uh, we feel instead of scolding and all no if we just care them and make uh, like use the soft words with them no um, their attitude will be better so caring is really um, a loving uh, thing each one as i said the any age people maybe a 60 years old uh, grandmother or grandfather or the father or uncle aunties uh, siblings everybody if we just care them at least the some some words like did you uh, you had your lunch or had your uh, coffee or would you like to uh, take a cup of coffee just that one sentence whether you offer or not but still that one sentence of caring will really help their mental condition and the that concern showing uh, is uh, going to help uh, the uh, people in and uh, around you so we have to care as i said there is nothing laws or there is no difficulties to show some careness towards the people around us maybe the elder or the younger to us let us each one of us show some uh, um concern or uh, let us care them and that some time to help other is also showing some caring or we are, we care them that feeling will come to us and that will make us happy also um, uh, that is what take some time to help others do not uh, be too selfish no uh, keep some time aside to um, help in the workplace or the public society yes definitely when we just cross no if the old people are also waiting with us to cross the road and all no we can just uh, uh, take them also along with us we can just say that yes okay now the signal is uh, uh, red for the vehicle uh, so it is time to cross the road uncle we can just say that is also showing some careness caring the people in uh, unknowing people that is actually unknowing people that also uh, you just try this one you can just feel the um, uh, lightness in your body or you can just feel the happiness in your uh, mind you will feel light and you will feel uh, um, uh, very you will feel that very happy when we just help the uh, people around us but still the many people they don't try oh they, we don't know them no why to help them why to take risk and all we uh, we think actually those are the small small things where uh, we can just um, show um, concern towards the people and uh, care them and uh, show the kindness to them uh, yes uh, society what does this uh, consist of uh, various kind of people we know 
all kind of people are there maybe some people they talk loudly they talk uh, some people they talk very lightly some people um, they just shout but still we never know the people who talk loudly maybe by heart they are so kind we don't know so we have to uh, see the people we have to judge the people simply don't uh, okay okay she or he shouts a lot or she just speak very loudly so why to care their uh, words and all we should not show that attitude we have to um, care each and every one wherever we go wherever we see the people just look at them and if they need some care let us check if it is in our hand yes definitely everything we can't do but there are something which can be uh, considered and we can do also at that time so um, see the time and situation and all help uh, help them because various kind of people are there in the society uh, maybe the people with uh, some disability and now uh, there are people with uh, some uh, what we can say is uh, less income or lesser money they may need yes suddenly i got some um, uh, some incident i am just recollect recollecting maybe some people are there in the shop and they that uh, small kids small kids babies from the school they are returning and all we are shopping in that uh, shop and that uh, girl or boy wants some chocolates or something and uh, she demanded of uh, 10 rupees chocolate and she has only 8 rupees means show you are care towards him just two rupees giving to some unknown person also that will uh, make her happy that girl or boy over that that the student will feel very happy and the help what you did no after some time even you will feel very light and uh, proud also maybe sometimes we will just feel proud uh, um, um proud about us itself so something like that the people are not like us only those you know, different kind of people are there as i said uh, the lesser money people are also there wherever it is needed and wherever it is a possible timely help or timely uh, uh, care we can just uh, show to the others children who need uh, the care uh, through money maybe through fees college fees is very high and all no small small amount maybe it's just 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees which is uh, or how much we can just um, uh, share uh, with them or uh, give them no that that kind of care we can just give uh, to the, towards the help help uh, needed people or the needy people we can just help them and uh, um, especially these uh, senior citizens as i just said had your lunch had your food um, how are you today can you able to walk these are the small small uh, um, sentences caring sentences which will uh, um, make them happy because uh, concern showing concern is uh, or asking some questions like that and uh, um, talking to the senior citizen is uh, really great and uh, making them uh, make them uh, happy at that time so the, again there no need of uh, um, knowing people and all in the park and all while walk, walking also you may see many senior citizens sitting uh, with uh, dull faces and all so if you just see some dull faces in the park and all just you just ask how are you uncle done one round of walking otherwise come let us go for a walk and all just one sentence whether you know him or her or not but this kind of uh, caring will help them so let us show some uh, care uh, uh, towards the people who are in need maybe now we are young when we are young our feelings are different when we become old the feelings are different so let us uh, uh, respect the feelings of the pe- uh, all kind of uh, people so we may feel and uh, uh, think differently in different ages um so let us uh, respect or care uh, all kind of uh, people and all kind of uh, um, uh, children or all kind of parents or yes in general public uh, public as to uh, this uh, society consists of uh, different people let us uh, be kind towards each and everything 
uh, every not only the persons, including animals. What uh, small children they do is the uh, stray dogs will be there and they will be just uh, throwing the stones towards the stray dogs and all. So let us not do that one also. That is also not showing the, uh, what is that, do not caring the animal. So let be let us be kind that towards the animals uh, too. Um, and caring really make all the people uh, happy. So let us be kind with, uh, towards the uh, um, uh, men or uh, men not I mean the people as well as the animal. So let us show the kindness and care each and uh, everyone. So how important is following like or obeying the rules? And also, uh, the, do you think that citizenship is also important? Citizenship. Um, yes, it is our um, duty to become a good citizen of a country. So let us voluntarily involve ourselves in uh, social service and give back something to the society because we are living in the society uh, to become a good citizen or to show the citizen, good citizenship we have to give back something to the um, society. Working for self or just to the family members, most of the time is uh, not enough. However, uh, let us keep some time to do some social service. Um, the world is, I think, smoothly running because there are many people who work for the society also because it will start from home and then the society, then the uh, maybe next um, um, street and uh, uh, country and all like that. There are many people who um, do or work for the society. That is why the world is going smoothly. If each one just work for self, no, then uh, we will not be considered as a good uh, citizen of the country. So we have to show or the, uh, voluntarily we have to help the others and do some social um, help kind of uh, thing. Uh, social services we have to do uh, because we are living in a society. So definitely uh, whether the society ask it back or not, but we must give back something to the um, society. We have to give something. So th that is where the small, small things and the small uh, work uh, or maybe maintaining the cleanliness uh, in and around of our house and all of that uh, also giving back to something to the society and all we can just consider. Uh, the biggest thing what uh, comes under my mind is uh, many people the th they think that this whole planet is mine. Uh, it is an uh, individual's one. Okay? It is not, no, actually the planet is not only yours or mine or something. It is the planet is of, it is for all. Um, and also the future generation also going to come and live with this planet. So what we have to, we have to keep this in the mind when we use the natural resources, Use it wisely, my dear friends. Simply don't waste. We must have seen many people, they just keep the tap on and they brush the teeth. There the water is just simply flowing. But there are many, many places where one mug of, getting one mug of water is also very difficult. So we have to use all these things naturally very wisely because we have to keep that for the next generation to not only to us to the next generation also even the electricity you must have seen in many big cities and almost simply all the switches of lights will be on only whether it is needy time or not needy time let us not waste the electricity also um, if the students are also students are also there and the, as a audience here my kind request is please switch off the lights when you just go out of the classrooms and all. 
because many classrooms even in my college where i work no they simply they just talk and they just go out of the class even if the the dark days and all if the switches are on or the switches of fans are on and when we just go out we are not telling that uh, don't use fans at all you can switch on the fan whenever it is needed simply don't waste the electricity also because these are the common things where we are just wasting as i said tap simply on and simply even while washing the clothes also many times what happens is simply we just pour uh, buckets of water there unnecessarily and on use or wash the car car wash when we just wash the car no minimum water what is required let us use only that much water these are the two things uh, commonly wasted things which i which it came to my mind electricity and water really we people are uh, wasting like anything we are not keeping in our mind that that is really natural resource which we uh, which uh, are uh, which will be used for the next generation also we have to keep up for them also so we have to get some knowledge about uh, this one no simply uh, you know i was not knowing that one and all simply giving the answers okay the switches are were on okay, yeah, it it didn't i didn't notice and all that should not be the answer we have to knowledge ourselves about all those things sometimes what simply the people say is uh, they just show the innocence uh innocence is not an uh, uh, excuse it is not that not an excuse no we have to get some information about such things and we should be knowledgeable to follow all those uh, things and uh, it, it is our responsibility or it is our duty to become a good citizen of the country so what uh, all these things we have to understand uh, to extend and make or make uh, make uh, others to understand also because in village and all no maybe the people they don't know all these things no what we can do is whenever uh, whenever we visit some villagers and all no uh, there in their local language no we can just uh, give some knowledge about all these things don't uh, waste the water don't uh, use unnecessarily the electricity power and all um, so making ourselves knowledgeable and sharing our knowledge um, about all these things and make others knowledgeable is also citizenship means we can become a good citizen when we just help others uh, 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 with uh, all these uh, matters and all not only this uh, natural resources anything any in that matter any things let us not even the food i forgot food is also very important no many public places actually maybe the um, uh, some uh, places where the, the freely when they just give some foods no many times many people i have seen they just uh, just take uh, the uh, plate full of uh, meals and they simply waste the food you must know my dear friends there are many 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 poor people for them they are not able to get one time meal so here we are getting some three to four times meal and whatever we want even the snacks everything we our parents are uh, just providing us so let us not misuse that one let us not waste the food if you really when if you just bought some two, two packets of biscuits or something and if on the way if you just saw some poor people sitting there in the roadside or something no you can just offer that one more biscuit you can just adjust with the uh, one packet of biscuit simple thing i just told you so uh, try to share the things for the needy people and uh, um, again tell your friends also about all these uh, things so that you can just make them uh, knowledgeable about uh, not wasting food water and electricity anything so that we can just show our good uh, citizenship okay so the last question last but not least uh, is uh, like in some extent the character also matters right ma'am uh, 
yes character matters a lot actually um there's uh, abraham lincoln's uh, one uh, uh, statement is there like a character is like a tree and uh, reputation is like its uh, shadow the shadow is what we think of it and the tree is the real thing so character means a lot the teacher or the parents or the public whoever it is if your character is good no you will be given a little at least one 5% more respect you you will get at least 5% uh, more respect if the, your character is uh, um better in the group maybe 10 10 students group is there and in particularly one student's character is better than the remaining nine members definitely teacher will um note that better one and praise the better one and uh, highlight everywhere the better one so my dear friends characters character matters a um, lot actually um under character no there are a few things which i want to quote what uh, we have to work hard to our own growth or maybe our uh, uh, country's go- growth so always uh, to do all those things no we should be self disciplined if we are not self disciplined uh we i don't think uh, we can uh, grow or we can just uh, do the um justice to our life and all so we have to follow our uh, discipline in our life yes we have to work hard and uh, we have to control our emotions simply we should not even if we are sad and all no automatically tears will come and all but still we have to control our emotions in front of the public um we always we have to control our um angriness yes we will get angry very very frequently nowadays after pandemic especially many people i have seen they get angry very frequently which is very bad we have to control our emotions maybe sadness yes definitely happiness emotions a little can be expressed more but sadness and uh, angriness and all no a little we have to control uh, more we should not express that one more frequently and when we get angry we use very bad words once the bad words are told no it is very difficult to take it back we know so we have to control we should have control over the talk what uh, Uh, we say or what the words we use we have to be careful uh, at that time so and um, body language the actions what we just show the actions when we just talk uh, to the elders or the friends or the younger youngsters every everyone body language is very important means what we just show the action is also words as well as the action both will go hand to hand so we have to be very uh, very careful in uh, many situations uh, what uh, in all the situations we should have the um, uh, control over all those things that is where what uh, simply one word is character our character should be uh, better better i would say yes definitely best is the um, real thing but at least we should show some better character towards others and um, thank you so much ma'am for sharing these valuable examples and to make us understand what is the factors what are the factors regarding this moral moral morals and thank you so much ma'am morality and uh, thank you so much ma'am so uh, participants if you have any questions regarding this please type it in our chat box and we have to wait for a minute yeah sure yeah yeah participant if you have any questions regarding the session please type it in our chat box i think uh 
there is no question from the participants side so thank you so much ma'am again i'm thanking all of the participants to join our session so, yes ma'am i i will only question and i will only answer well, i don't know whether why the audience have not asked about uh, the rules and regulations actually um, main uh, main thing yeah. is traffic, traffic rules traffic rules you must have seen many officers are not uh, following it that also comes under uh, moral values please my dear friends follow the follow the traffic uh, is it clear is it am i audible yes ma'am yes, ma uh, yes. So, yes. so that that is what um, uh, the traffic rules without wearing helmet the many people they go in the two wheeler triple ride i have seen the many people they do that one also and uh, jumping the signals that is also very very bad let us follow the rules my dear friends and uh, just keep it in mind some um, four um, what i can say is magical uh, words which which are the principles universally accepted uh, like yes definitely the responsibility um, integrity and um, compassion and mainly the forgiveness let us give some forgiveness to the people who do the uh, mistake also so thank you uh, it was a wonderful session for from my side also i thank uh, amrita university for good response from the audience too ma yeah i'm we got good much better yeah you can see that in our chat box i'm audible oh. yeah you can see the responses from uh, participants yeah yeah i can i can see that one okay yeah yeah hope you liked it yes ma'am so they are they are giving a good response and thank you so much uh, thank you so much all for participating today's session we'll come out another another session on next week Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.